Madam Dalil, good morning to you. Good morning and thank you for the opportunity. Welcome. Who is responsible for the evictions in Luanda? Is it Sundral or is it the city of Cape Town? There's one thing that we are all certain about in that is that the information that we get from our courts is the truth. Now, the truth of the matter is that uh, there's a court order, an eviction order, that Sunral made application to the court for, and Sunral got an eviction order, or only an eviction order for, for, for people moving onto the land after the eviction order. So Sunral has been responsible for the uh, uh, um, Sunral mm -hmm. has been responsible to also carry out the the eviction. Mm -hmm. Now Sunral also pointed a finger at, at, at the city of Cape Town, saying that you refuse to help to accommodate uh, the the residents there for, uh, with alternative accommodation. Is that correct? I think they're very economical with the truth uh, mm -hmm. because they got the eviction order in January of 2014 already. Why did they wait up till now? They waited up till now because two days before they did the actual eviction, they had to supply the court with more information that the city was seeking from Sunral so that we could try and settle the dispute with Sunral. So, it's certainly not the side of the city failing to help. We have got correspondence that we have written to Sunra to say that uh, because it's privately owned land, we will provide services on the periphery. And, and those correspondence is there for anybody to see. Mm -hmm. Now, as the city now, Mayor, what are you doing to assist the homeless people uh, as it stands? Yes, we should not try and make the homelessness of people and the suffering of people a political football because that is what it seemed to have become. We have had many other evictions around the country. Uh, this eviction in the city of Cape Town is the only one where, in fact, there is now a, a so-called inquiry. Uh, two national ministers became involved. Uh, we didn't see the similar involvement in, in other areas in, 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 in the country. The city of Cape Town, because we are a caring city, we have provided uh, alternative accommodation in the halls belonging to the city of Cape Town. We've also been providing three meals a day to the community. And uh, our, our ultimate uh, proposal to Sunral is that while they are looking for alternative accommodation, that people should go back onto the existing land where they've been removed from while we try and find a, a, a permanent solution to the homelessness uh, of, of, of the people living on that piece of land. But we do understand that there are alternative land available. Do you concur with that and is that correct? Yes, um, we have not been formally informed by Sunral about the alternative land. Uh, I am in the process of setting up a meeting with Sunral, also setting up a meeting with the National Minister of Human Settlements so that we can all come together and find a long-term permanent solution for this uh, problem. Uh, once we've been informed by Sunral about the permanent land that they want to make available, that land will then be subject to uh, procedures, due process, to make sure that you know, we comply with the land use uh, uh, legislation, that we comply with the zoning application. And that's why we are saying while all of these due processes are going on, let us move the people back to where they were removed from in the first place. So if they're going to move back to that land, they were evicted from the land uh, initially. Uh, they don't have any accommodation right now on the very same land that they've been removed from. What are you going to do about that? Are you going to provide them temporary shelter then? Well, this is exactly what we will do as a city of Cape Town. We will provide the enhanced emergency kits mm -hmm. that include uh, the, that the community can build a, a three by three meter structure. It also includes a door and a window. Um, Whilst uh, we are uh, working on all the legal requirements and the due process that we need to follow before we put people onto another piece of land. Yes, the city of Cape Town are ready and willing uh, to, to provide the emergency kits. Now, lastly, Mayor, Sunral, should they take responsibility for the evictions without prior notifying you to that? 
Well, you can just go and look at the court orders mm. and you can see that it was granted to Sunral. So therefore, Sunral must take responsibility. Uh, you know, it's now behind, I mean, it's, it's be after the fact. Mm -hmm. But we should have sit down and before the eviction and said that, you know, in, if Sunral can evict people from Sunral land, uh, you cannot just do that. You must look at alternative accommodation. Now we are looking at alternative accommodation while the court order has been carried out. And that is why I'm now having to call a meeting with Sandra to discuss how do we take this forward together and stop blaming each other. Maya, thank you so much for your time and good luck with the situation in Cape Town. Thank you very much. That was the executive mayor of Cape Town, Patricia DeLille, on the line to us there from our Cape Town studios. Now, international news.